Hey everybody, welcome back. And today should be Sunday that you'll see this video. So I want to jump right in and talk about BU tips. Um, that's basically what every Sunday is gonna be called. Just um, small tips that will help you on the long run for beauty, for skincare, for hair, and for your daily life. Anything that I think is very um, tipful <laughs> that would that you would benefit from, Sunday is your day. So if you would like to see this look, that's all my fights. Then watch out for tomorrow for tomorrow's tutorial for B University Mondays, okay? So let's jump right in. Today's topic is about um, containers for makeup artists and for makeup wearers that love to wear makeup on a continuous basis. This is for you. There are many things as makeup artists that you should depot. You want to keep everything sanitary and clean. You want to separate um, what your kit is, what your makeup artist kit is, and what your personal kit is. Um, for instance, like lipsticks, um, get in the habit of buying two of everything that you love, that you love the most and love to wear for yourself and for your your artists. If you love it, buy two of it or more than two. Um, that's just what I do. It keeps everything separate and so this is how I would differentiate the two. Shadows or try to buy the ones that come in that comes single pots and you can store it in a Z palette like this. This has my MAC shadows on this side and all these shadows here are my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Foundations is a good way to depot, especially if they come in glass. Like for example, the Revlon Nearly Naked foundation is glass. They're not plastic and this is what I depotted it in. So it's the same thing, different colors obviously, same thing, but I depotted it in something plastic and also it's a screw on and it gives me just amount, just enough amount at a time and I can always put whatever I didn't use back inside of here. And this of course, you know, it's just, this is not good because this may take out way too much than expected and it's harder to put it back inside glass. And plus, glass you can drop and break and then there goes your foundation. <laughs> Try to get things, get containers that can, that are stackable, that low maintenance so it's easy for you to carry around, it's lightweight, etc, etc. It just, it just makes a whole world of a difference when you start depotting for your makeup artist kit. Now if you're a girl like me that has a bunch of makeup and you're not taking the whole world of makeup with you um, to every job and you want to find a place to store it and don't know how to store it, I would get different containers like this. For example, um, this, is, this one is labeled lashes and it has different kinds. It's the strips and the singles and um, yeah. And I put other stuff in here like spray bottles and all that stuff but I have lashes and they're falling out. Just one of them if you want to store glitter or just different forms of um, loose shadows you can do it in here. As a makeup artist you're on the go and you're always if you're like a professional makeup artist you're always on the go you don't want to keep anything that's glass or anything of that nature because it's not good for you it can break and you don't get it back and once it breaks it breaks and um, it's sanitary it keeps your items sanitary and it lasts a little bit longer than if you were to just leave it as is and you know which one is yours and you know what, what it's for what's for your makeup kit a lot of people that don't normally look in these places they're actually a lot cheaper there than if you were to get it on Amazon or whatever the case may be so the places I chose um, for example I got this one at Ross and it's 18 pieces in different sizes like I showed you before and it's $2.99 at Ross you know sometimes Ross has different knickknacks and if you go in at you know randomly you may find something similar to this you can go to Walgreens you check in the travel aisle the little um, small set small little products and stuff like that they have them in there um, 
they and also Walmart same same place any dollar store child any dollar store Dollar Tree 99 cent store any freaking dollar store if you go to the kitchen section and you'll see um, what I showed you and you'll see the different um, travel size it's for traveling so if you get the containers that are for traveling that's the same thing as depotting so you'll see the stir light little big containers and everything that you can store everything in for makeup for storage and everything like that yeah so and they're mad cheap and also also Michaels Michaels is a little bit more expensive not, not to sometimes they could be more expensive depending on when you get it if it's if they're low in stock, more likely that item is going to be on sale. You know, in the future, how you want to perceive yourself as a makeup artist, how you want people to look at you, how you want your clients to view you as. Are you dirty? Are you are you just picking up anything out the out the bag kind of thing? Are you laying your stuff out? Are you prepared you know you want to think of those things in your head and not just okay I'm about to be the face and I'm about to just do whatever I do you know what I'm saying it's not that if you want to be professional you have to look professional you have to give them something to remember as a makeup artist I hope that was very helpful on uh, different tips and stuff like that on depotting containers so if you want to stick to the next Sunday for watching BU tips just hang on and like this please like this video if you want to see more videos like this and stay tuned for tomorrow for the tutorial on my face all right bye